Hello from 4 Biology chapter 2 this is your video number 2 and we're going to start the title cell structure see about the Jaco animal and plant cell okay so turn to your notes page number 4 this mean okay and I start now okay so last time in our form 1 in form 1 our cell contains cytoplasm cell membrane and nucleus that's all start from today we're going to having more and more structure okay so inside the cytoplasm of a cell, it contains many organelles. The cell jiang li mian, cell mo xia mian de cell jiang, it contains many organelles. Cell jiang li mian you hen duo organelles. Always mean by organelles, cell qi. Okay, always organelles. This is cell qi zai na li na. This is one of the organelles. All, all the small dot 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 here, they are the organelles. And all these, they are the organelle inside the cell. They are the cell organelles. So what is mean by cell organelle? So what is cell organelle? Copy under your notes, page number 4. Chow zai ni de notes de di si mean de xia mean. Here, what is mean by organelle? In Chinese, we call cell organelle. But what is mean by cell organelle? Cell organelle de qi la. Okay, so what is organelle? Copy. They are the specialized structure in the cell. Cell里面的一种一些特定的结构。They are the specialized structure in the cell that carry up the specific functions. 就是细胞腔里面的一些器具，他们会帮忙我们的细胞进行某某功能。So 很特别的结构，他们都能进行各自的功能。So this is what we call organelle. So what the organelle we have inside the cell? 细胞里面到底有什么细胞器呢？这些细胞器都躲在细胞浆那边 ，understand? So any example of organelle, OK? 有什么细胞器在我们的细胞的结构里面呢 ？So follow me, 跟着我啊。Page number four, we start from the animal cells. Oh, for these ones, for now, I just talk about the structure. 我教你认那个结构 ，and tell you the name only. I don't talk about their function. 我暂时没有讲功能。So when we talk more and more, including the function or whatever, you can remember the structure. You can remember the organelle easier and faster. 明白吗 ？So 我们慢慢来，慢慢来。Okay, 我不是给了名名字，然后你就回家背，不是的。我们一起走。等下你就把名字全部慢慢的背出来了。Okay, so organelle, 细胞器，细胞里面的各种各样的结构啦。Number one. Okay. Okay, number one, cell membrane or plasma membrane. 这一层就是细胞的膜，叫细胞膜。Okay, copy. That's all you know. 你这个你早早会了的，对不对 ？So under the cell membrane or plasma membranes, we having the cytoplasm. 里面有 jelly-like material, and the jelly-like material is called cytoplasm, 细胞浆。So copy here. 我可能挡到你，对不对 ？Cytoplasm, 细胞浆。Okay. So in the cytoplasm, it contains a lot of organelles. 在细胞浆里面呢 ，it contains a lot of organelles. So any example of organelle? 有什么例子呢 ？The biggest organelle inside the cytoplasm will be the nucleus. 细胞浆里面最大的细胞器呢，就叫 nucleus. So the structure, 这里 big big 大大的黑黑的东西就叫 nucleus. 明白吗 ？Okay. <coughs> So nucleus actually is one of the organelle and the biggest organelle inside the animal cell. 最大的一种细胞器的 nucleus. Or what's the function? 过后才讲。我现在只讲名字罢了。我要你背名字先。Okay. So if you look at the nucleus, it must be something attached on the nucleus. 如果你看着它的 nucleus, normally in all the drawing or diagrams, you can see some of the structure actually attached on the nucleus. 这个 attached 跟 nucleus 的东西呢 ，we call endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. So, 什么叫 endoplasmic reticulum? In Chinese, I don't know. 在华语呢，我不知道，我没有查过它的华语名字。Okay, 真的，真的。So endoplasmic reticulum, 它通常呢跟我们的细，跟我们的 nucleus 粘在一起 ，attach 在一起。But when we talk about endoplasmic reticulum, we can separate the endoplasmic reticulum into two types. 我们可以把它分成两种。Endoplasmic reticulum. We having two types. One of them is called dwarf endoplasmic reticulums. Dwarf 
endoplasmic reticulum (ER). Draft 就是出处。Endoplasmic reticulum 通常都是跟我们的 nucleus 粘在一起的那个结构，所以突出的 endoplasmic reticulum s o k But why we call it as dwarf endoplasmic reticulum？ 为什么它叫突出的呢 ？OK， or what make it dwarf？ 谁把它弄到突出的呢 ？Simple， for dwarf endoplasmic reticulum， it having a organelle， 它的表面上呢有另外一种细胞器。And the organelle is called ribosome. 这种细胞器呢就叫 ribosome. So where's the ribosome? 那 the black color dot 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 这些黑色的点点点呢、啊，一点一点呢，就是 ribosome. So because of the ribosomes, the endoplasmic reticulum become dwarf. 就看起来好像粗粗的感觉，对不对 ？So 这个就是 dwarf endoplasmic reticulum. Oh, this one is also. This one is draft endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, but besides the draft, 除了粗的以外，我们还有活的，活活的，好像我的脸这样子的 smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, maybe it will be at the end. 它可能在这边的后面， or maybe separated from the draft endoplasmic reticulum. 可能跟这个粗粗的分开，然后自己在一个角落。So we don't care. We just aga aga la. But with your experience, 当你有经验的时候，你很难阿嘎阿嘎，因为一看你就知道它是水疗的，不用阿嘎阿嘎的。暂时每一张图片不一样，你可能要阿嘎阿嘎不了。So smooth endoplasmic reticulums， 它就没有 ribosome 了，它滑滑的。Okay, label. So now label on your notes: draft endoplasmic reticulum (RER) or smooth. Endoplasmic reticulum (SER) 把它们分开，这边也是 RER、SER， 这边是粗的，这边是滑的。OK， so temporary. I just talk about the name of the organelle only. 啦，我只讲细胞器、细胞里面的结构的名字罢了。得，他们拿来做什么？等一下，等一下。OK。Next and what else? 还有什么东西呢 ？Nucleus 旁边有 dwarf endoplasmic reticulum， 附近总是有 smooth endoplasmic reticulum。OK， 哦，那 dwarf endoplasmic reticulum 的表面上有一种细胞器，这个一点点的就叫 ribosome。So label ribosomes ribosome， 是一粒一粒小小粒的就叫 ribosome。OK， next 再来。再看啊 ，OK， somewhere very close to the rough endoplasmic reticulum， 在很靠近 rough endoplasmic reticulum 的一个地方 ，OK， and between the structure and the rough endoplasmic reticulum， it contains a lot of 一粒一粒的东西。OK， what is this？ 这一个细胞器就叫 Golgi apparatus， 华语叫什么？我不知道。I just know the English is called Golgi apparatus. 很靠近 draft endoplasmic reticulum. 然后之间呢 ，draft endoplasmic reticulum 跟它之间有一粒一粒的东西呢，它的名字就叫 Golgi apparatus. And the small pieces, small pieces here, 这些小小的一粒一粒的东西呢，就叫 transport vesicle. 为什么呢？一定有原因的。不要怕，等一下我讲功能的时候，讲故事的时候，你有了故事，名字自己会变，会记得的。So transport vesicle， 一粒一粒小小粒，在 drop and the plasmid reticulum 跟 Golgi apparatus 之间，就叫 transport vesicle。OK， next， 再来。Besides the Golgi apparatus, what we have, 我们还有什么东西呢 ？Okay, so some of them, okay, it must be some of the structure. 有一些结构它也是一粒一粒 ，but normally it will join together with the cell membrane. 它画一粒一粒的同时呢 ，they must draw one of them or two of them join together with the plasma membrane. 它会跟我们的细胞膜结合。So this is what we call secretory secretory vesicle. Secretory 就是分泌。Vesicle， 那就是一粒一粒的东西，它就会把东西呢分泌出去。OK， 这是一粒一粒喜欢跟 plasma membrane 粘在一起 ，mesh 在一起 ，combine together。OK， 所以它叫 secretory vesicle，secretory vesicle， 也就是分泌出来的一粒一粒啦。它分泌出什么东西出来？丹姐，丹姐，我们讲名字先
OK， 找结构，看名字先。By no difficult to remember， 很难背。I understands。OK， 好、uh, ，inside the cytoplasm， we still having another organelle， but this one actually is not organelle， 它是人家做出来的东西，叫 lysosome。lysosome。哦、oh, ，what is lysosome？ 它是谁来的呢？它其实是也是一粒一粒的东西，里面装着 enzyme， 里面装着酵素啦。OK， so 它叫 lysosome。Who make it？ 谁做出来的 g o g g y apparatus。g o g g y apparatus 制造出来的 lysosome。OK， but I know you become blur， 你已经晕晕了，对不对？不爽不爽的感觉了。I know， be careful， be patient， 忍一下，忍一下啊。还有什么东西呢？来。If you look see a bread, you will 看到一片面包 with a lot of mayonnaise. 然后很多 mayonnaise 淋在上面，这种结构就叫 mitochondrium. Mitochondrium 如果多过一粒，我们就叫 mitochondria. So mitochondrium, mitochondria. For what? 来做什么呢？过后才讲，过后才讲。Okay. Mitochondrium, mitochondria. 还有什么 ？OK， another structure normally they come in pair. 还有一种结构，它是一堆一堆来的。Look like gear, 好像汽车、轿车的 gear, and this is central, central. 那做什么？嗯 ，OK, central. OK, and just animal cell have it. 只有 animal cell 有罢了。OK, so you can label here. 写在这边 ，animal cell only, central. Just available on the animal cell only. 只在动物细胞有罢了。Same as here, lysosome normally for animal cell only. OK, animal cell only. 自己写满满呢。Animal cell only. 我知道我没有写么，不用 message 我啊。OK， 我知道。So animal cell only. So these are the basic structure or organelle that we have inside the animal cell. 动物细胞里面的一些细胞器，还有它的结构。OK. And what to do now? Now, now, my, we continue with the plant cell. 我们再看，我们再看，我们 try to 认真 and try to remember all the names slowly. Now, 我们才开始它的故事，好吗 ？So, turn to plant cell. 我们看植物细胞。Okay. So, same as the plant, same as the animal cell, plant cell also having the plasma membrane, 细胞膜在这一层。外面的叫 cell wall， 这一层呢就叫 plasma membrane. Okay, plasma membrane. And under the plasma membrane, it contains cytoplasm. 里面有很多的细胞浆。So where's the cytoplasm? 我在找 cytoplasm 呢。里面的空间，里面的 jelly-like material， 好像 jelly-like 的东西，这个叫 cytoplasm， 可能挡到你了。Okay. Ah,、uh, under the cytoplasm, it contains a lot of organelle. And one of the biggest organelles we we call nucleus. 其中一个最大的细胞器呢，就是 nucleus， 细胞壳。Okay, nucleus normally attach together with the what? 粗粗的 dwarf endoplasmic reticulum， 粗的，对不对 ？Dwarf endoplasmic reticulum. So 有一粒一粒的东西，造成它粗粗的 dwarf endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. Or far away from the dwarf and endoplasmic reticulum, they may be at attached together, maybe not. Be on it. It may not be attached together. It may not be smooth endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. But who make the endoplasmic reticulum become dwarf? So it becomes smooth. The organelles, there's a dot dot dot. That's a little little, small small, little little organelles. It's called ribosome. There's a ribosome. 这边也有 ribosome， 所、so, 以这些结构把 endoplasmic reticulum 变成粗粗了，对不对 ？So ribosomes 把它变成粗了。再来 ，somewhere around the dwarf endoplasmic reticulum it contains a lot of vesicles， 有一粒一粒的东西。And between the vesicles and okay between the vesicles and 这些一粒一粒的东西过后 ，normally it having another organelle that is not attached to the nucleus. 它跟 nucleus 没有连在一起，旁边总是一粒一粒的东西。这个叫 Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus. Okay. And the vesicle between the Golgi apparatus and the dwarf endoplasmic reticulum. 这个 Golgi apparatus 跟这个 dwarf endoplasmic reticulum 之间的一粒一粒就叫 transport vesicle. Label here transport vesicle. 
，OK， 哪一粒我不知道，可能是这一粒，可能是这一粒，他们都叫 transport vesicle。But why not this one？ 为什么没有 label 在这边呢 ？I don't know， 可能它是另外一个 label 了，另外一个名字了的。Okay, so transport vesicle between the draft endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi apparatus. 这些一粒一粒就叫 transport vesicle. Transport vesicle. Okay. 还有什么东西呢 ？Okay, Golgi apparatus. It making the enzyme. 它其实做 enzyme. And the enzyme or hormones sometimes they will be packed into a small vesicle. 它也会被人家包成一些 vesicle. 这些一粒粒的 vesicle 就叫 lysosomes. Lysosome, okay, 里面收藏着 enzyme， 通常收藏着酵素。还有什么东西呢 ？OK， 还有的就是 secretory vesicle， 分泌出来的 vesicle。But in the diagram， 我好像看不到嘞，看不到有跟 plasma membrane 连起来的东西的结构。So that's why 我就不能 label 那个 secretory vesicle。Okay, and how about this? Look like a bread. 好像一粒面包 with mayonnaise， 上面涂了一些的 mayonnaise。这个就叫 mitochondrium。如果多过一粒叫 mitochondria。mitochondrium， mitochondria。Okay， 剩下的 structure 不多了。Okay， or others， 它就只有植物细胞有罢了的。这个叫 cell wall， 细胞墙壁。中间的一个孔洞里面装着盐水。这种呢就叫 vacuum。OK， sorry， 它 label 其他的 ，chloroplast 细胞，哎，叶粒子 ，chloroplast。OK， and this is the vacuum， central vacuum， 中间的一个大 vacuum 啦 ，central vacuum。OK， I know you， I know you， it's very boring to remember all the name like this， but they are very very important for us to start the chapter two。没有这些名字就没有 chapter two， 你的 bio 完全不能 start。不能开始 ，OK? No choice, 没有办法。So this is a basic structure. These are the basic structure of organelle, and an organelle in the animal and plant cell. OK, never mind. 我们等一下再练，再练。练过后我们就不要读书，我们应该能直接把名字写出来。OK? So we continue in another video. 用下一个 video 来继续。We still talk about the name. 我们还是要讲名字罢了。Okay, 我们要认东西先，才开始它的故事。So bye bye. See you in the next video. 下一个 video 再见。